teacher Leica again. I'm back. So if this is your first time to visit my channel, please see. Click the like button below and hit subscribe for more videos and don't forget to ring the notification bell for more video updates. What are the parts of a story? In writing a story, you have to consider the following. The characters, the setting, the plot, the conflict, and the theme. But first, you need to provide your title, the title itself. You must know how your story works. You have to imagine the things you want to happen in your story. What genre are you going to use? Either love stories, horror stories, action stories, and so on and so forth. So the parts of a story consist of five main elements. We will focus on the five elements so that you can easily understand the flow in writing a simple story. You must have your characters, setting, plot, and conflict along with the theme. Okay, elements of story. First, we have the characters. Characters, it can be a person, the people, okay, the animals, or creatures in a story. In every story, it needs characters. In here, we have two main leads. Two main leads, the protagonist and the antagonist. So when we say protagonist, this is, is a good person. Protagonist is a good person, while antagonist is a bad person. So yung protagonist, siya yung, siya yung bida. Yung antagonist naman, siya yung kontrabida. Okay, so yung protagonist siya yung bida yung antagonist siya yung kontrabida setting next we have setting setting is the time and place a story takes place the time and place saan naganap yung kwento setting can be the time of day time of year time in history scenery weather and definitely location as a whole the setting describes where and when the story takes place. So where, when the story takes place. Where and when. Kailan at saan naganap ang kwento. Next, we have plot. Okay, plot. Plot is a series of events that make up a story. Mga pangyayari sa kwento, ika nga. I've already discussed this one in my previous video, the exposition, rising action, climax, falling action, and the resolution by Freytag, Freytag Pyramid. Or you can use the beginning, middle, and end by Aristotle. Yun yung plot. Same plot, series of events, mga pangyayari sa kwento. Okay. Next tayo, sa conflict. In conflict, it is a problem or struggle between two people, things, or ideas. Without conflict, there is no plot. Okay? There are different types of, of conflict. There are different types of conflict. So we have character versus character, character versus nature, character versus society, character versus self. Okay, number one, character versus character. Okay, problem with another character. This is a problem with another character. Number two, the character versus nature. Problem with force of nature. Another, we have character versus society. So, so, character versus society, this is the problem with the laws or beliefs of a group. Character versus community, pederen, society, or culture. Union. Character versus self, problem with deciding what to do or think. Self-conflict, inner conflict, pederen. Okay. Another, we have the last one, the theme. The theme is the underlying meaning of a story. Tatanungin mo, bakit kayo sinulat ito ng writer? Ano ba ang gusto niya ipahiwatin sa kwento? I think the story is about self-love. So, pwede yung self-love na theme. Anyway, a theme is the message the writer is trying to convey through the story. Often, 
Um, the theme of a story is a broad message about life. The theme of a story um, is important because a story's theme is part of the reason why the author wrote this story. And for many of us, the reason we write is because we have something to say about life or the world or human nature and we want others to see the world the way we do. Why do you want to tell this particular story? Do na magpo yung theme mo. Okay, here are examples of theme. But your theme depends on the genre of your story. Pwede yung acceptance of acceptance, pwede yung, yung acceptance of self, acceptance of circumstances, acceptance of reality. For forgiveness naman, forgiveness, if it is about forgiveness, pwede yung forgiveness of self or forgiveness of others. If it is in faith, faith in oneself, faith in others, faith in the world, or faith in God. What about fear? So yung fear, fear of overcoming it, fear of conquering it, and fear of finding courage. And what about love? Ito yung love talaga. Okay, yung love, pwede self-love, family love, or romantic love. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. This is Teacher Lee Kaigal. He believes that learning is important. You have to learn from yourself, your peers, your friends, your community, your family, and learn with Teacher Leika. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.